good morning thanks for clicking on my video it is like 8 a.m monday august 7th the big day the first day of classes i'm not really sure what to expect yet they gave us a really brief overview during orientation basically just that we're taking the um, like med lecture blocks and then some smp specific classes to learn how to study and to go over difficult concepts from the med lectures but other than that any more details i'm not really sure um, I have my first class in just a few hours and I think that they'll give us some more details during that. I of course did not sleep very well last night, big surprise, but I still got up and went on my run with Layla, made myself a good breakfast, journaled a little bit, and then showered and got ready for the day and everything and I'm feeling a lot better now, excited to get going on classes. Um, I'm just drinking my morning coffee and doing some emails, looking at the course canvas page a little bit before I go and yeah, we'll head out in just a little bit. home on my lunch break now. I finished my first two classes. I have two more this afternoon, um, but this morning was really pretty chill. There was a really funny moment. The medical students actually didn't have um, their intro to block one with us. We had separate. Theirs was right before us in the same lecture hall, and so there was a funny moment as we're all standing outside waiting to go into the lecture hall for the introduction to block one. The medical students come out, and it was that same feeling as like high school students being on a college tour where like the college students are where you want to be and we're just like over here SMP students not the medical students yet and it's like kind of separate hopefully that'll go away once we start actually taking the classes together but it was just funny um but overall it's been a pretty chill day I think it'll be a pretty chill afternoon and then I have one like required video learning thing which is the first real learning material that we're getting so far to do this evening but it's been a pretty good day so far walking home early because they closed campus for weather, if you can believe that. It did end up getting rainy, as you can see, but honestly, it never got that bad. I think they're just a little bit more dramatic about the weather here than in Chicago. I have been very productive since I talked to you last. I did my body fluid compartments lecture video, made flashcards out of that, did my all my Anki cards for today. Um, did a final review of three secondary applications and submitted all of those and did like dishes and household stuff. Now I'm just in bed. It's almost 10 now. Um, I'm in bed reading my inheritance book and Layla is also in bed with me and we're just kind of unwinding for the day now. But day one done. It feels really good. I'm excited for day two and I'll talk to you in the morning. morning just finished my morning routine so I'm all ready for day two which I think is when the real work will begin because yesterday was mostly a syllabus day besides that one independent lecture in the evening but today I have three lectures with the medical students and then an SMP class meeting this afternoon after that so the real work begins um, my main goal for this day this week is just to see figure out how things go um, see how I want to study how I want to manage my time which they've given us some really good like broad strokes tips on that and advice which I'm definitely taking into consideration but I just want to see what's manageable and effective for me this week. It is about three now. I'm back from lecture and also took a little bit of a break after. Um, I was right the second day definitely picked up quite a bit. The lectures weren't too hard or anything, but it was definitely different after not being in school for a while to sit in three hours of kind of back-to-back -back lectures that were moving at a good pace. Um, I kept just like thinking like I'm at Georgetown Medical School. I'm not a medical student, but I'm in the Georgetown Medical School classes, which made me only a little bit nauseous, I'll be honest. Um, it's just a little stressful because you're not actually there yet. You're still learning the material, but you're not you're not in the medical school. I don't know how to make this make sense, but I just felt like the pressure for real because it's still this really difficult material, but we don't have kind of the benefit of the doubt of already getting into medical school. I feel like we have to do really well throughout and have good grades throughout because we're graded on a slightly different system than the medical students where they get a final grade. At the end, we get some grades throughout, so I really need to just be doing well so I can actually get in the classes as a medical student and not just in the classes as an SMP student, if that makes sense. So 
I kind of felt the pressure a little bit today. It didn't make me feel great, but I just need to remember, I always say like, it doesn't have to be about the final destination. That's why I'm happy to be doing this program and everything. It can be about the little steps along the way and you can still enjoy those little steps. So I just need to chill out and focus on the step that I'm on basically. So on that note, I do have some studying to do, of course. The former SMP students just sent us like a Google Drive of the resources that they used last year when they were in this program. So I think that will be super helpful. I'm gonna look through that and try to formulate kind of how I want to study, which I'm still not sure. They keep telling us they're gonna tell us how we should study, like give us concrete recommendations of how to study later, but it's like the material is coming now. So I'm just not sure what I wanna do yet. I'm gonna try to formulate a little bit more of a plan, but yeah, I should get to work. I think I just have to admit that making my own flashcards takes too long because I can't spend the same amount of time outside of lecture as inside of lecture just making flashcards every day. That's not effective studying of me. Um, and I looked through that Google Drive that they shared again and there is an Anki deck from last year's someone, some student. Um, so I tried it, I gave it a shot today. I tried making my own cards from the lecture materials and tomorrow I think I'm gonna switch it up and try using that provided Anki deck, but maybe adding some of my own cards. But that just took so long to make those three lectures into cards. And those were probably not even the hardest or fastest lectures. Um, they're definitely not the hardest or fastest lectures that we're gonna have this year. So yeah, that's just not gonna work, but I found that out early, glad that I tried it. Oh well, um, I'm gonna take Layla to the dog park now. Good morning, welcome to day three. It is Wednesday, August 9th now. I need to head to class pretty soon, but I have a little update on my study methods that I'm trying today. So step one is reading the high yield summary sheets that we got from last year's students for um, the correlating lectures that we're going to have today just to expose myself to that material so it's not so brand new once I get to lecture. Um, step two, go to lecture, take my little notes like I was before, try to just really absorb and understand what they're saying. Step three, use that Anki deck that the upperclassmen provided us from last year and just add my own cards to that, hopefully cut down on my Anki making time significantly. And step four is to do practice questions because that's really the best way to learn all of this and they gave us a problem solving worksheet that we're going to all go over tomorrow so that's probably how I'll end my studying for the day but I gotta go to class, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, new study strategy update. Read the pre-lecture summary, went to lecture. It ended up being a lot slower lecture than yesterday and was also mostly biochemistry and stuff that I knew from undergrad. I think they've taught us about thermodynamics like a billion times at this point. So it wasn't super confusing anyways, but I wanna say that it still helped to read the pre-lecture summary and to just take simple notes and make sure that I left with an understanding of the material. And now I downloaded that gigantic Anki deck that was shared with us by upperclassmen. And I am going through that and maybe adding stuff if I want to, maybe not kind of going through the slides and what they have for that lecture because they organized it really well and it's organized by exam and lecture within that exam. So it's easy to kind of cross compare. So that's what I'm working on now. And yeah, I think this will take way less time than making my own, obviously, because I'm just comparing them and adding like pictures or something. But yeah, going well so far. See you in a bit. I actually timed myself that round, and for all three hours of lecture, it only took me one hour and 15 minutes to move over and edit the former SMP cards to better fit how I wanted them, so that is a huge improvement. Iced coffee and a stretching break because I have been sitting for way too long. later done with new content for the day I'm gonna take another longer break and take Lila for a long walk I think because my head feels kind of full and kind of tired at this point and then I'll probably eat dinner do my worksheet and do my Anki good morning happy Thursday um, it is like 7.30 a.m. now. We went for a walk this morning and not a run because I was feeling a little too sore to go for a run this morning, but um, we're back from that. I am just drinking my coffee. Layla is being very cute and saying hello. And 
Um, I'm also reading the mints for the lecture today. That's just the high yield summary sheets that the upperclassmen gave us. I think I mentioned those the other day. It's medical note taking service, so they call them mints, which is fun, I guess. Um, but I'm just gonna finish up that. We just have one lecture this morning and then the second two hours are a problem solving workshop. So I think that this will be a little bit of a lighter day, which could be nice, but I'm just gonna finish my coffee, finish reading the mints and then take a shower and head to class. And Layla says, hello, she's being so cute right now, but we'll see you guys later. We got done just a little early today because the problem set didn't take the full two hours and then I came home, had a lunch break, been really enjoying the nostalgia of Scooby-Doo, did my Anki cards for the one lecture we had today, took a nap because I still have not been sleeping well and I had a little extra time and then did my transporters quiz. Good morning, happy Friday. It is like 10.30 now. Um, we have a pretty different day today, which is why I'm not in lecture right now. Um, we have two independent learnings, which I did one of them already this morning and I'll do the other one after my afternoon meetings. The first afternoon meeting is Meet Your Big Sibs, which is basically the cheesy name that Georgetown gave the former SMP students who are currently M1s at Georgetown. Um, they're like our built-in assigned advisors who obviously did pretty well in the SMP program if they got to go to Georgetown Medical School afterwards. The second meeting is team-based learning orientation, which I think we'll start like the real team-based learning next week. And then the final afternoon meeting is foundational rounds orientation, which I'm not quite as sure what that one means, but I'm sure we'll find out. Right now I'm going to take Layla for another little walk, eat lunch, and then head to class and I'll let you know how it goes after I'm back. All right, first week at Georgetown, Masters in Physiology done. It feels great to have made it through the first week. I know this is one of the easiest weeks because a lot of it was orientation, but it was good. I feel good. I feel like I'm going to be able to do it and make the most of it. And I just feel really happy. I had a really nice day. We didn't have any more lectures, like I said, just that one independent learning one this morning that I already did. Um, and then it was really nice to meet the big sibs. We didn't get to actually like talk to them much. We kind of ran out of time, um, but they went around and told the story of opening that email or getting that phone call that they were accepted to Georgetown and just like the feeling of gratitude and shock that they all had completely relatable. I'm sure that's how any of us would feel, but it was really motivating to hear and they made it and it was a really different people, all of them and different like backgrounds and everything. And yeah, it was just really nice to hear, very motivating. And then the team-based learning stuff seems really great. My team was so nice. They all seem really smart, really kind people. So I think that'll be really good. And of course that's kind of why we want to learn all of these random facts is to like understand patient care and the team-based learning stuff is more like board questions and like patient cases, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'm just really happy to have made it through the first week and to feel kind of good about it and like I can do it. Um, I think this afternoon, this evening, I'm just going to do my Anki cards, order some Uber Eats to congratulate myself for making it through this first week, and end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.